Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the different pieces of software we need to download and install in order to start working with our version control system of choice subversion, or commonly referred to as SVN. Now, the first thing we need to install is subversion itself, and this is going to give us access to the server where we can store our repositories on the machine. And it's also going to give us access to the command line utilities in order to interact with the server and with our working copies. The next application we're going to download and install is going to be Tortoise SVN. And this is a Windows third party tool that integrates very nicely into the Windows context menu system. And it provides a very clean GUI interface for managing your repositories on your server and the files on your working copies on your computer. It's just a much cleaner way of working with subversion than having to go through the command line interface. The last tool we're going to download and install is WinMerge. And WinMerge is a diffing tool for Windows that allows you to take two files and show you what differences between the two files there are and allows you to push changes from one to another. And this is going to become very important when we start to have to manage and resolve conflicts in our files on our working copies. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first place we want to go to is subversion.tigris.org, which is just subversion. Tigris is spelled T-I-G-R-I-S dot org. And from here you'll see a section called Get Subversion, and you have Subversion and Third Party Clients. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to download Subversion itself. And since we are on Windows, everything's going to be done on Windows 7. Of course, Windows Vista and XP should be compatible with everything I'm doing. I'm going to go to Windows Binary, and we're going to download from Tigris.org. And you're going to notice that if we click on this link right here, it's going to give us the version that's compatible with Apache 2.2. There is a separate version that's compatible with Apache 2.0, and this is going to be important if you plan on using your Apache server in order to host your subversion files, or your subversion repositories. For the time being, we're going to just download the version that's compatible with 2.2, but if you are using a Apache 2.0, I recommend you download that version instead. So we're going to click here, and it's going to give us a bunch of different files, and what we want to do is scroll to the very bottom, and we want to download the very last file, which is the SVN Win32 1.6.6. Just click on that, save, and we can just save right here. And then if we hit back a few times, we're going to look under the third party client and we're going to click on the Tortoise SVN. And this is going to bring us to the Tortoise SVN page, allow that to load. And we're going to click on the download link, and then you're going to notice here there's going to be a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. You want to download the correct version for the operating system you're running. Since I'm running a 64-bit version of Windows 7, I'm going to download the 64-bit version. And this should start fairly shortly. There we go, save. And desktop again. And now the last location, or the last place we want to go is we want to download the WinMerge. And that can be found at winmerge.org. And again, we can click on the download now. And we will wait for this to start downloading. And there we go. Just save it to our desktop. If we go ahead and minimize our window, right here we have our SVN server. So if we click on this, bring this into view, this is everything we need to down to install the server. And essentially all we need to do is we just need to copy these folders and files to our computer. So I'm going to go ahead, oh, not the control panel, I'm going to open up my computer, I'm going to go to the C drive, and I'm going to create a folder here called SVN. I'm going to go into this folder and I'm going to copy these folders and files to this particular folder. So everything for SVN is going to be stored in our 
C drive SVN folder. And that's all set, and we're all set with installing subversion itself. So let's just minimize that. And our other two files have finished downloading. Now, Tortoise SVN, it's going to be pretty simple. Just double click, and we can run. Just keep everything default. You don't need to really do much to the configurations when installing these applications. And let's just go ahead and start the installer for WinMerge as well. Okay, just click OK if it asks you for permission. That's going to happen on Windows 7. Click Next, Next, Next. Everything defaults. And it looks good. Okay. And that should now install. And we can click install on this. And now WinMerge is successfully installed on our computer. And you'll notice if I right click on here, we have a, well, that's not the right file, but well, once we restart our computer, the, the icon for WinMerge should appear. When you right click on a file, there'll be a little icon for WinMerge. And we're just waiting for Tortoise SVN to finish installing. It should take a few moments. Okay, we can click Finish. Tortoise SVN will tell you that you need to restart your computer in order for the effects to take place, but that's not true. Uh, so I'm just going to click Now. Now we have everything that we need in order to start working with Subversion installed. Thanks.